I'm Gamer Girly, and welcome to the HSC Baby Challenge Part 4. Had a little brain fart there, couldn't think of the word. Um, but, as you can see, it's actually 10.30 at night. Um, I picked up late in the day because I spent like all day trying to get a guy to come over. And, finally, one came over, like... 10 minutes ago, and so I'm gonna have them bond a little tiny bit, and I know she's exhausted, but they are attracted to each other, so I'm gonna see if I can make them close enough that he will um, stay over, so I don't have to worry about trying to get them over the next day. Da -da -da. Shaka bra. I wonder where they got, like, the word for shaka bra. Like, it just seems like a weird word. And I always forget to set a timer. That's why my past few videos... Well, not, like, my past few. I've been getting a little bit better about this. But, like, a few of my videos were, like, an hour long. I just lose track Sorry of time. Sorry about that. Just starting up my timer. Okay, so let's get back into their other interactions. <laughs> I'm sorry for making oh, people a little bit laggy. Tifara? Never? The game is still getting used to Fraps running while it's running, so it might take a little while. I really am very sorry. I really. Barzo! Oh, we got my. Abby Tori, guys. Nah. Oh, he's single. That would make things so much easier. What just happened? Good gravy. What did I click on? And I back up a little bit. Okay, you just got a little bit closer with Mr. Benjamin Markham. And really, and that's where my dream. Alright then, um. Not really sure what kind of secret you were telling him, but. I don't think he's that bad looking. And I haven't really stared at him, so. Ooh, having trouble adjusting the screen. Issues. Wait. Looks like he's an adult, but his features are, he's pretty, he's pretty okay looking. His hair gave me the impression he was in the young adult. Da da da. Yeah. Alright, but being single makes things so, so much easier. Abba now woo, now webs. Funets, hmm. do not. Barzo, what he gosh? Get Okay, random kid I don't know of. Three to ten years. Whoa. He's a university mascot. That's how we knew him. <laughs> so. Azam my bamom. Kuba na chuni. Dal aba na wu na wit. Jarka. Oh, you want to die? Oh, Joy. Yeah. Mm, talk about being irresistible. Because it is one of her traits. Irresistible. And that helps so much with this particular challenge trying to seduce a bunch of dudes. Well, let me like Stop a dude. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to work on that. And she's really close to becoming. Choo -choo. What's your name? Oh, but she's Luna. She's Luna. Little Abba Yell's father is promoted. She's really cute. I mean, mine is her kind of weirdest jaw thing going on. But other than that, she's super cute. I'm sure we'll, we'll be able to find plenty of hairstyles to hide that. Dapterm? Web Zone. So, 
Madar. You see, Miss Pankin's running a lot better now that it's um. Sarbel Nebel Deebs. Shagarb? Ah, too bad. Now that it, um, it's gotten a little um, used to it. Sorry, I had like a little <laughs> moment there where. Kind of like. Um, yeah. <laughs> to be glued out, Deebs. Pretty sure they need to be friends before she can ask him to stay over. I'm just gonna see if he will just stay over while she sleeps because sometimes they will do that. Okay, um, go to sleep. And I'll just pick up in the morning whenever we get back on all this good stuff or whatever. Wait, almost forgot to click stop recording. That would have been embarrassing. Alright, so now I will see you back right, in the so good morning and. He did leave. I forgot what his name was. Benjamin. Benjamin did leave, but not before he broke our computer. Whoop de doo. And so she's just gonna go to the bathroom. Then feed Abigail. So clean that up. So let's do that. And then she's gonna eat some mac and cheese. Um, actually, before she eats that, she'll. Invite him over and then she'll eat the mac and cheese the back there and she's done. So look at here. Well, if he says yes, yeah. of course. But, um, you, you may notice that I have a, but she's about a hundred more simoleons in her, um, bank or whatever. And that's, I did not cheat. Um, I just sold a bunch of fruit that she had harvested. Well, fruits and vegetables and stuff that she had harvested from her garden that she just happened to have in her inventory. And... That should help with the expense for repairing the computer, and I know I probably should just have her do it, but I'm gonna be lazy. She doesn't really have that much time to do her yard. Hopefully, when Abigail's is um, well, there she'll be able to take over that a little bit. Like Abigail, I plan to have her take over um, painting, and hopefully, take over um. La, 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 la. I can't think of the word. Um, hopefully take over uh, the garden or something. Maybe I'll have a different kid take over the garden. I don't really know at this point, but definitely, um, whenever they get older, the kids are definitely going to be helping a lot with the money making process. Um, let me just make sure I have autonomy on. Yes. Because I know earlier I didn't, and Abigail just kind of sat there all day completely miserable. Alright. Hurry on up. Haha, <laughs> Nick. Ew. He's coming over. And I forgot to restart my timer. Um, and this is actually a sim I made. Um, let me see if I can show you her. I placed her in the town because I thought she was pretty in mind as well. Where is she? I think it said that she was like dating somebody last night. Um, where is she? She's invisible. Oh, she's in this store then. It's just gonna wait for her to come out because I would like to see her. I think that's her right there. Yes, it is. Let me just show you her because I think she's really pretty. Especially her hair color. Like, it's a really deep, chestnutty color. And yeah. Oop. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Of course. Right as I'm getting a good view on her, she, like, um, I accidentally click on Stella's picture. But I think she's really pretty. And also, if you guys have any, um, male sims you would like me to place the town for, you know, Stella to get busy with, um, I think she's really pretty. I can't really get that great of a shot of her face because of the way her the weird way her neck is turned right now. Whoa. But as I was saying I think she's really pretty though. But as I was saying, if 
you guys um, have any mail sims you've created um, that you would like me to try out, please um, send me a link to, and have them uploaded to the exchange because if they're on the exchange then I can see what they look like. And I just want to make sure that I don't um, get a bunch that have like uh, weird custom content on, on them or something. And please make sure if you do do that, that, um, man, I'm having the weirdest time having, making words right now. Um, blah, blah, blah. So please make sure if you do do that, that you use minimal custom content, because I don't want to download a whole ton of custom content and make my game die. Yeah, oh, really, what I'm that. really, really looking for mm. in that area is mm. um, their face and hair color. Just like, I don't really care about what their clothes look like as long as they have a good face. <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh, please don't leave, don't leave, dude. Thank you for saying that I thought he was leaving. Take self photo with? I think I want to take a selfie. That'd be pretty hilarious, actually. Sure, we're gonna take a selfie. And we're getting a whole lot of stuff about Lillian right now. Lillian's the name of the sim I just showed you guys. Um, I think it's because I just placed from the town yesterday, and right now story progression is finally taking all of its like um to its toll on her life. All right, take a photo with this dude. Check a blue Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now call some people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, what's going on? <laughs> oh, I don't know if you just hurt here that I just like yep, kicked my butt. So. It's kind of loud. I don't know if you guys heard that. You probably didn't, and I'm probably just sounding <laughs> stupid right now. Ooh. But I'm gonna make sure you guys can think. I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you guys would think that was like. It was like a weird shuffling sound. Um, any sort of relationship. An orb, you know? And he has new... Because he's in a relationship and they are attracted to each other. I'm going to go for romantic. Alright. Do 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 do. Yes, they do, but Jay. Uh, do know. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My mom just came in and talked to me. So, I am really, really sorry for all these interruptions on this particular part. But as you can see, he just took that really well. And I don't, really don't want him to talk about shared traits, but it won't let me camp around that for some reason. And I actually just, like, she actually just learned, we both learned, whatever. I don't really know what to say about that. But they're on a date now, woohoo, and I learned that mm. it is flirting, wow. which is going to help us mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, I loaded up their thing with um, mm -hmm. romantic interactions, and I have no idea but why I can't make them stop talking about shared traits. Alright, but that didn't really do much. It was, you know, something good. It's another boat flirting, so they're both <laughs> Please don't make her some sort of and she uh -huh. mm, I mean, I really, like, when you're not playing university and you don't want to like gain these things and you still do, it can be so incredibly annoying. Alright, so romantic Just gonna have her compliment his appearance and compliment his personality again. Just to make sure they're really, really up there in the romanticness, whatever. <laughs> Here's the repair lady, finally. And he's oh, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A dish. She blew me a kiss. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh, those are such weird um, things, especially whenever you're mm -hmm. to, to a guy. Like, it just looks mm. really weird. Alright, so, so now they are... Oh, now 
lock to everybody because I'm gonna unlock it as soon as she's pregnant. <laughs> as he tried to leave, but failed. Where'd he go? I'm seriously confused by like his, his complete disappearance. He's just gone. Did he just disappear? What happened? I locked the door and everything. <sighs> Alright, so. Still not pregnant. He comes over, um, I guess she's not getting to bed any earlier today. So, you're gonna feed your darling daughter because she's absolutely starving. And probably dying, um. Alright, but I'm gonna make a vow right now. She'll be pregnant by the end of this part. So that's my vow. Eat not Ross. With nerd. Alright, so <laughs> tomorrow, whether or not she's pregnant, we'll be completely devoted to teaching her either to walk or talk because I want to get this little girl aged up fast. I am super aggravated at like having a toddler and making it so she has no time to do anything. And where is this man? Oh, right here he is. Get up. Get up. I know you're completely. <laughs> Exhausted right now. Oh. Like, seriously, like, this outfit she's wearing. If anyone was to answer the door wearing that, it's saying, Come at me. Like, seriously, look at that sexy little tramp. <laughs> that sexy little tramp. Alright, so now hurry up. Alright, come on. <laughs> come on. You can do it. You can move. I'm very certain you're not paralyzed. I, once again, I'm so incredibly sorry, Abigail. Looks like she won't be answering the door in that. Oh, darling. Darling, you're trying for a baby with this man yet again. Because we need to put the crackers. We're pretty far behind on this challenge. Like, one baby down, and he's not going for it. Oof. Please just go for it, dude. Just go for it. Try for a baby, try for a baby, try for a baby. Who uh, needs? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, meet up. Uh, the world's longest groan. Uh. Alright, so... You know, kiss him, and then do all this other romantic interaction to get him. In the mood, maybe he's just way too tired. Never yeah, yeah, he's just way too tired. Um, he's leaving. Oh my gosh. Darling. Feed your child. No, no, change her diaper. Put her in the crib. And go to bed. And tomorrow... I know I said we're going to dedicate it to her, but I seriously think that, I think it's just because they're really tired or something, but if that is the case or whatever, I don't know. Oh, don't know. Alright, so, oh my gosh. You did not change your diaper. Oh my gosh. Change her diaper. Okay, for some reason I could not see it. Um, 
and I'm just gonna end the part here. Like, seriously, I had really been wanting to get, um, oh my gosh, my knuckle just cracked. Um, that's really loud to me, I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys even heard it, to me it was super loud. And I'm sorry, I said I would end the part here, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. Oh, they do. Oh my gosh, that was nuts. It was like crazy glitch. No booty. Um. Uh. Not gonna be able to do that, and so hopefully in the next part, we're gonna have baby number two on the way because we can either challenge Salu going because we got no help. Alright, so pick up in the next part, I guess. And hopefully, in the next part, she'll be pregnant, because this is the absolute hardest thing in the world, and even though he's, like, not even a relation, so, like, she just must be, like, not fertile at all. So anyway, I'll pick up in the next part. Yay! See you guys then!